All right, happy Friday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist for Misha Shade. We've made it through another work week, almost. And it's time to start thinking about all your big fun weekend plans, which may include some football. We definitely have a lot of football action, but we don't want anything happening from the tropics. We don't want that type of action. So basically, I'm here to let you know exactly what's cooking, what's happening out there in the tropics. Of course, the Atlantic Basin, where we could have something that could pop up and impact us. But we're also keeping a close eye on the eastern Pacific. That's exactly where we do still have a fairly powerful hurricane. In fact, a major hurricane. We are looking at Hurricane Christie. Once again, like I said, this is in the eastern Pacific and notice the general movement of Hurricane Christie. It's off to the west and west northwest. So it is moving away from all of Mexico. It's moving away from the US and it is expected to basically remain a fish storm and stay over water. So it's not going to impact anyone. However, it strengthened all the way up to a category five yesterday with 160 mile per hour winds. And you can see that is as strong as you can get on our Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. So basically it has been a super powerful monster of a hurricane. Good news today it has weakened back to a category three. But that is still a major hurricane out there in the eastern Pacific. So at this point, 115 mile per hour winds as of that latest 4 p.m. advisory and moving to the northwest around 14 miles per hour. Let me put this into motion and you will notice that Hurricane Christie will continue basically on a northwesterly track and then early next week kind of start shifting more to the west as it weakens. Here's a couple of good things that we can tell you about Christie. The first thing is that it is going to run into a lot of vertical wind shear over the next few days. Hurricanes don't like a lot of wind shear, so that means it will start to quickly weaken, likely down to a tropical storm as we go into the second half of the weekend and then losing those tropical characteristics at some point during Sunday. So that is certainly some good news, but it is still a fairly powerful hurricane out there right now, but as you can see, as we take that track through early next week, it will stay out over the open waters of the eastern Pacific, so it should not impact anyone. That is good news because it is still considered a major hurricane. Now, let's switch gears and head over to the Atlantic Basin. Of course, that's in our neck of the woods. We've got the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean Sea, and of course, the Gulf of Mexico, where we can get tropical systems that could potentially head up towards the Houston area. It's already been a busy season, to say the least. We started off with Tropical Storm Alberto. Then, of course, we had our first major hurricane of the season. That was Barrel that blew all the way up to a Category 5 at one point. Then it decided to make a beeline towards Houston, and it rolled right through the heart of downtown Houston as an 80-mile-per-hour Category 1 hurricane back on July 8th. Then we had Chris, which grew to a tropical storm. Then we had three hurricanes in a row, Debbie, Ernesto, and Francine. Those were certainly some impressive tropical systems. Then next we had Tropical Storm Gordon. Then I think the worst likely, or what will likely go down is the one with the most fatalities for this season was Helene. Of course, it made landfall in Florida, but then it rolled up into parts of the Carolinas, Eastern Tennessee, Western North Carolina, up into the Appalachians to just dump tons of rain for some of those spots, caused numerous fatalities from that catastrophic flash flooding. Then we had Isaac, which was a Cat 2 hurricane at one point, Kirk, a major hurricane, Leslie, a Cat 2 hurricane, Milton, a Category 5 hurricane at one point, then Tropical Storm Nadine, and Oscar, which became a Category 1 hurricane. So now we're waiting to see if we're going to get Patty or Raphael or maybe Sarah over the next week or two. Here is the good news at this point across the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, National Hurricane Center thinking no tropical activity is expected for the next few days. So at least as you go out and about and enjoy your weekend plans, you don't have to worry about any tropical trouble heading towards Southeast Texas or any part of the Gulf Coast for that matter, or if you're traveling to the east coast of the US or maybe to some of the Caribbean islands or to parts of Central America, things should be fairly quiet. We're not expecting a tropical system, at least through the next couple of days. However, as we slide into next week, that could change. Things could start to get 
more interesting or maybe more troublesome for parts of the Atlantic Basin. Here's what we're looking at. Models are hinting at some tropical development for next week, especially by the middle of next week and into the end of next week. It likely would be around the western or southwestern parts of the Caribbean right around Halloween or maybe the day before. So we're thinking maybe Wednesday or Thursday. It likely won't head our way. It's probably not going to threaten the Texas area, but there could be some impacts to Florida. There would definitely be some impacts to some of the Caribbean islands, but there could also be some Florida impacts. We're talking about more rounds of torrential downpours that could cause additional flooding. Florida certainly does not need any more of that. So where do we stand right now as we get a wide view of what's happening across the Atlantic Basin? Things are looking fairly quiet for the Atlantic Ocean, for the Gulf of Mexico, not really seeing anything that appears that it could be close to turning into a tropical system. But as we go into the Caribbean, especially the western and southwestern portions of the Caribbean, notice this area here that orange, red, yellow area. Those are showers and storms right now across the west and southwestern part of the Caribbean. Very disorganized at this point, but models are showing that there could be more organization over the next several days. Very warm water temps here, still in the middle and even upper 80s in spots, so that will act as fuel if we can get this area of low pressure to develop. So notice through the weekend, our future cast hour by hour, not really showing much organization for Friday night, Saturday, all the way through 11 p.m. Sunday night. You'll start to notice a change though as we go into the middle of next week. I think Monday, Tuesday, still nothing too organized, but by Thursday on Halloween, notice that we do have a circulation there in the west central portion of the Caribbean, getting close to Jamaica. That is likely going to be a tropical depression or maybe a Halloween tropical storm. Notice also all of that tropical moisture surrounding this potential tropical system that's going to be impacting a lot of those Caribbean islands, and it also will likely push up into parts of at least central and southern Florida. So we're going to have to monitor this closely, still several days out, but I just want to give you an idea that yes, there could still be some additional tropical development, even though we are getting close to the final month of hurricane season. Now I just mentioned how warm the water temperatures were. Of course, that warm water, those sea surface temps when they're in the 80s, act as fuel for these potential tropical systems. We still have super warm water for it to be this late in the season. In fact, water temps across the western, central parts of the Caribbean Sea in the middle 80s right here. We've still got water temps mainly in the 80s for the Gulf of Mexico as well, and even into the western Atlantic. So that's why we're still keeping a close eye on things. Even though things are expected to be quiet over the next few days, there could be the potential for a tropical storm or maybe even a hurricane right around Halloween in parts of the Caribbean next week. So we're going to monitor things closely. We've still got a few more days to get through for the month of October and the areas highlighted in orange are going to be your typical hot spots for a possible tropical development for the rest of the month. That will be the Western Atlantic, Southeastern Gulf of Mexico, and notice Western central parts of the Caribbean. Those are some of the exact spots that we're monitoring for a possible tropical cyclone development by the middle of next week. Heading into November, Overall, the potential for a tropical storm, a hurricane, a tropical depression really starts to decrease typically, but we've still got some pretty warm waters out there. So I think especially in the Caribbean, western central parts of the Caribbean, there will still be a decent chance even as we jump into November. There's also still a low chance for the areas highlighted in yellow across the western Atlantic and parts of the central Atlantic. Notice the Gulf of Mexico chances really dwindling for a tropical system as we go through the month of November, but we can't rule it out 100%. It's just an extremely low chance. So bottom line, nothing happening out there in the Atlantic Basin now, but the Caribbean will definitely be watched closely for that possible tropical development, especially by the middle of next week. Even if we don't get anything else, the rest of the season. It has already been a super active season with above average numbers for named storms, hurricanes, 
and major hurricanes. We've already had 15 named storms so far for this hurricane season. Out of those, 10 have become hurricanes, and out of those, four have become major hurricanes. In an average season, we would have about 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. So like I said, even if we don't get anything else, it has already been a pretty busy, pretty active, dangerous, and deadly hurricane season. So things are looking up for the Houston area. I think our chance of getting a tropical system here through the end of November, which would be through the rest of hurricane season, extremely low, but you never want to totally let your guard down. So keep checking back with us day by day. You may have a vacation plan in one of the Caribbean islands or maybe parts of Central America coming up soon, and you could be impacted by that possible tropical system that could develop there. So keep checking back. We do these updates every afternoon all the way through hurricane season, which goes all the way through November 30th. Notice that chance for tropical systems really starting to decrease as we go into the last month of hurricane season. But of course, we are still watching it until we are completely through. So you can definitely trust in us to keep you informed, keep you updated, keep you ahead of any of those tropical systems that may pop up across the Atlantic Basin and in other parts of the world. So keep checking back with us. But for now, at least things are quiet across the Atlantic Basin for the next few days. Well, that will do it for your tropical update for today. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your Friday and have an excellent weekend.